hi hi great viewers of my time welcome to my channel i say good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time zone today we'll have a great news for you here and the headline says at least three billion people need to die how we plan to reduce world population starting from africa america doctor now before i go ahead with the news in detail i will not hesitate to say please press the bell icon so that you'll be notified time we we'll have news a video for you and also the rest of Skybot is very important. Now the news in detail. American doctor Robert O. Young has a few plans to reduce the world population by eliminating about 3 billion people starting from Africa. In an interview with ITN Judicial Commission of Inquiry into weaponization of the biosphere, he said most people, especially Africans, are worthless, useless, and the population control will start in Africa, and at least 3 billion people need to die. In the video shared online, a center post reporter, he said, for the purpose of sterilization and population control, there are too many people on the planet we need to get rid of. In the wars of Bill Gates, at least 3 billion people need to die. So we are going to start off in Africa. Start doing our research there and eliminate most of the Africans because they are deplorable. They are worthless. They are not part of this world economy. So they have the right to stake anywhere. And they are suppressed and experimented Fanny Kayode who also shared the video wrote wow 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 deplorable what less not part of this economy is this for us alone this is what we are saying all the time this is what we have been saying if only our so called leaders will learn if only they will understand that being in one country by force is not what is sustainable. If only they will learn that being in one country by force is not what we need now. That what we need is freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. If you can allow others to have their freedom, believe in me, Africa will be like a paradise tomorrow. It's not about pressing people down because you are fallen. If you don't want to rise, you can go and fall alone and stop disturbing others. We must rise because the insult is getting too much. I do not have anything against the white man speaking. Where I have problem is that our African leaders have refused to learn that it's very important to free people when they want freedom. Nigeria is not working today because of people who want their freedom and he refused them to have their freedom. You keep on pressing them down even though when you know you are not dissenting with them. You keep on drawing them back even though you know you cannot compete with them. The fact here is that we have to allow people that want to be free to be free. In Nigeria, Duduwa has their own way of making things work. Also, the Flan is also the Alsace. Also, the Beer France. This is the fact. He cannot press people down because he wants them to be with you by force. Marriage is not by force. Look at what they are saying. They have already started doing it. They have brought COVID-19 for us all to die. They claim they want to kill 3 billion people. It was a doctor saying this, not a pastor or a prophet. This is a fact and figure. You have to take it and believe it. Now it's happening. This is why we ask for Biafra referendum. This is why we ask for Biafra's freedom. If we are free and bring our heads together to do what we know how to do best, which is technology, and they do the way I do this also. Likewise, the Northerners, I don't think somebody will come from a white man's land to tell us rubbish about this nonsense. I don't think somebody will come from a white man's land and tell us that we are inconsequential. I don't think someone will come from white man's land to tell us that you are, we are worthless. I don't think someone will come from white man's land to tell us that we are not part of the colony. What is shit? 
This is because of our leaders today in Nigeria have made things difficult for us all. They pretend to be leaders or they are killers. Everything happening today is the handwork of our leaders. During the time of the war, Biafra are trying to free themselves from this. So, same gender we, they made their own things possible. They made their guns. They made the Obudu way. They made everything. They are more tank. The same way they are good in the medicine. Even the Yorubas, they have their own way of making things work. So, why are you stopping the people from leaving the fake marriage that the white men collaborated together? To make it happen i am not trying to say something bad about the white men but the truth is that they don't have our interest at heart believe me that is the fact we africans have to rise up we have to rise up when i say white men i'm not saying every white people i mean their government all Africans have to rise up and do the right thing. Free the people that want to be free. So that you will learn from them when they are doing it great. Africa has to be great again. That's what you are saying. Nobody from anywhere from Sahel that will stop Africa from being great. And that is why freedom is important. A lot of people that wants to go to go do not stop them because freedom is important. As a freedom fighter, we are fighting for the freedom of our people to make sure we restore the freedom of Biafrans who have been suffocating in this so-called hot marriage that we have refused to, to be in. As the white men created Nigeria, they brought Biafran from where they are living and joined them together with Nigeria to call this Senegal area. And today, the people in it are suffering. The more reason why you have to free them. Otherwise, Africa will remain. Nobody will come to Africa. No white man, if you can make Africa a great place to be, no white man will come to Africa and tell you that it's a shithole. No man. We have to come together. It's not composite that we must live in one country. But countries and countries have come together to make things work out, to bring their knowledge. Stop drawing people down to fall with you. Stop pressing people down. If you want to fall, go ahead and fall alone. A lot of the people that want freedom, that want to be free, to be free. That is what we are saying here. Because if we are free, no white man will call us shit ho. If you are free, no white man will tell us the type of message to use to cure any sickness coming along, along, around our way. If you are free, putting our heads together to do things, to make things work. We will be the Japan of Africa of today. This is what I'm saying. It's not by force to be in a marriage. Neither is it by force to be in any country especially the ones that you did not create this country called nigeria was brought together by lord god with her drunken girlfriend that called her name flora shaw and it's time to dissolve this country so that people will have their freedom and make things work out in their own way in nigeria today a lot of people are coming out with technology but nigerian government is not making an effort to make sure that they help because they are safe fish assessing pass from one side part of the country they want others to remain down and down they will remain and that is why we say enough is enough we can no longer take this we can no longer take it we need the freedom and that freedom we shall get Great peer friends and viewers of my time have come to the end of this news. I will say please drop your comment in the comment section. Share this news and stay blessed. You say, you say, you say, you say.